Golgi berries are fantastic. Expensive, but fantastic. Probably one of the healthiest dried fruit on the planet behind dried pomegranate seeds. People claim goji berries can improve age-related eye damage, boost immune function, and increase our quality of life. But are they really worth all of the hype and that expensive price tag? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be going over the science behind goji berries' nutrition, health benefits, and potential side effects, and classify goji berries as either helpful, harmful, or just a plain hoax. What's up, superhumans? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dr. Tessa Spencer. I'm a licensed and practicing pharmacist as well as a NASM certified personal trainer and nutrition coach. I also own my own functional medicine consulting and coaching business, Ritual Wellness. And my goal with this platform is to inspire, educate, and empower you guys to reach your optimal health and create a dynamic and fulfilling life using holistic, evidence-based health and wellness practices. If you wanna learn more about how we can work together, one on one to optimize your health using alternative therapies, superfoods, supplements, or if you want to become one of my online wellness coaching clients, keep listening to the end of this video, or you can go ahead and book a free wellness consultation with me using the link below in my description. As always, you hear it in every video, superfoods and supplements can interact with certain disease states or medications, so make sure you're talking with your provider before you're supplementing with anything. All right. Let's do it. First off, we're gonna look at the antioxidant value of goji berries. So goji berries are packed with antioxidants and up until 2010, they were the most antioxidant packed dried fruit known, topping off the charts at 120, which is five times the antioxidant power of a raisin. I will say that goji berries are very expensive. So you can get the same amount of antioxidants if you eat cranberries or artichokes and a lot of other fruits and vegetables, but goji berries are still at kind of the top of the list. So does this high antioxidant capacity transform into clinical effectiveness on illnesses and diseases? The first one we're gonna look at is age-related macular degeneration. This is Goji Berry's most notorious claim. So macular degeneration, AKA age-related eye damages that causes blurry vision. Goji Berries are a great source of zeaxanthin, which is a carotenoid molecule found in the cells of our eyes that is linked to several health benefits such as reducing the risk of age-related macular degeneration, glaucoma, and cataract. So how about a double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled trial? 15 berries a day for three months and they found that goji berries could protect against the loss of pigment and prevent the buildup of debris in the back of the eye, both of which are associated with age-related macular degeneration, which is the leading cause of legal blindness in older men and women. So it's important important to note that one way to increase the absorption of the carotenoids and Golgi berries like zeaxanthin is to eat the Golgi berries with nuts or seeds. With the current research out there, I do believe that there is a place for Golgi berries in those wanting to prevent or improve age-related blurred vision as long as they don't break your budget. However, if you are going to use it for this, it's important that you eat them consistently if you're going to get any benefit since most studies had people eating them every day for at least least three months. So it's gonna take some time to see that benefit and you have to be doing it consistently. Now goji berries can interact with certain disease states and medications, which I will be discussing at the end of this video. So make sure you stick around and look out for that. So the next one is improving immune function. So an animal study shows that goji fruit can increase white blood cells, increase platelet counts, and lessen the decrease in red blood cells in chemotherapy induced myelosuppression in mice. Other research shows that goji fruit can stimulate cytokine production and enhance microphage activity. Also, goji fruit polysaccharides appear to increase the antibody and immune responses to vaccines in animals. Animal studies are great, but like, what about in humans? So according to a 30-day study in 60 older adults, drinking four ounces of goji berry juice per day increased the levels of certain immune cells and improved general feelings of well-being, such as fatigue and 
and sleep. And it showed a tendency to increase short-term memory and focus. However, there was no significant change in the number of natural killer cells, which is really what we're looking for when we're looking at boosting immune function. Now, there was really only one study on this, and I'm not sure I would be able to base a recommendation solely on this study. On top of that, there is a lot of very well-researched lifestyle habits, plant-based nutrition, getting the recommended amount of exercise and sleep, and eliminating chronic stressors in your life, and interacting with nature that have proven time and time again to boost our immune system function. And I would recommend these lifestyle habits well before recommending a goji supplement for boosting our immune system. That is until we have more solid scientific evidence in human research. But once again, they're a great source of antioxidants and nutrients. So if you want to have them because they taste good and you love the nutritional value they bring, go for it. When we're looking at other areas that goji berries can have a clinical effect on, from the current research out there, it doesn't seem that goji berries have any effect on brain function, diabetes, or losing weight. However, there was a small clinical trial that suggests that goji berries may modestly improve our quality of life in healthy adults, including improving subjective measures of energy levels, athletic performance, sleep quality, mental accuracy, calmness, and just general feelings of well-being. Now, I do have to say, this study was funded by a goji berry juice company. We have to take these results with a grain of salt because it, it was funded by a goji juice company and their main MO is to sell goji berry juice. We just have to make sure that this scientific research isn't biased in any way. I always like to talk a little bit about the safety profile of all the superfoods and supplements that I am going over. And goji fruit is generally safe when taken in food amounts or larger amounts up to four months. Goji berries are generally well tolerated and don't seem to produce any harmful side effects. I will say that goji berries might cause an allergic reaction, especially in those who are allergic to tobacco, peaches, tomatoes, and nuts. If you're allergic to any of those, maybe be a little cautious if you're gonna try goji berries for the first time. Right now, there isn't enough reliable information to know if goji berries is safe to use in a clinical amount, especially when you are pregnant or breastfeeding. And there is a little bit of concern that goji fruit might cause the uterus to contract. So for this one, I would, you know, stay away or avoid the use of goji fruit, especially when you are pregnant or breastfeeding. There are a few medication interactions with goji fruit that one should look out for. The biggest one is warfarin. So goji berries might increase how long warfarin acts in the body, which can cause an increased chance of bruising and bleeding instances. I would also be cautious on those using fluconide and any medication that can be metabolized by the liver, which is like a whole host of medications. So that is why it's so important to talk with your personal healthcare provider. Now, if you wanna learn more about other superfoods and supplements that do have clinical data behind them that could benefit you and optimize your health, I do offer personalized supplement protocols for helping people go from being confused and paying way too much for supplements that don't even work to being confident and reaching their health goals faster. I've used these supplement protocols to help individuals improve their energy, decrease brain fog, improve hormonal imbalances, or feelings of stress and anxiety. So if you want to discover if personalized supplement protocols are right for you and your health, you can use that same link below in my description to book a free wellness consultation with me as well. I'm also taking on online coaching wellness clients for my personalized wellness programs that really encompass personalized training, nutrition coaching, supplement consulting, to really help you go from feeling overwhelmed, frustrated, and fatigued with your current health and wellness to seeing real results results, being self-efficient, energized, and achieving your health and wellness goals faster. Whether it's improving overall health or increasing strength or endurance, losing weight, improving energy, decreasing stress, or managing a specific disease or health condition, my step-by-step -step personalized wellness programs are really backed with proven results and are tailored to those who have very busy schedules, bite-sized, it's step-by-step. -step. So once again, if you want to learn more about my personalized wellness programs, use that link below, book 
book a free wellness consultation with me and we can go over some ways that we can work together to really improve and optimize your health. Now, if you want more day-to-day -day tips and tricks on health and wellness, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at the superfood pharmacist or I'm, I'm getting on, you know, the dancing trend of TikTok. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share this video with others who might really benefit from this knowledge. You can also hit that bell notification button so you're notified each and every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you have any questions, make sure to put them below in my comments and check out all my scientific references that I used in creating this video down in my video description. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope to see you in the next video, but until then, keep living your worth. Let's do this. Woo! Okay. What you doing for me? Come up here then. All right. Yep, chill out. You'll be fine. I believe in you. I'm a license in pharmacy. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this word, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, we're gonna look it up on Google really quick.